Hey everybody, it's Leanne and I hope you're having a good morning. Um, I hope you can hear me too because I'm videoing this and my next door neighbors are chopping down a tree. So thank God my voice is loud and hopefully it'll carry while we make this. But I've got to make it now so I'm going to go ahead and get going. So today I'm going to do a seated flexibility routine for you. Now if you are feeling okay and you want to do this standing, totally fine. Or you can work seated to standing just depending on your situation. All right. Uh, and you guys know maintaining flexibility is very essential in daily life, especially as we age, which we are all doing. But the nice thing is it can be done anywhere. So I'm going to do the chair version. And of course you can do this standing as well. And if any disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert, if any of these stretches cause you any discomfort, then I want you to make the necessary adjustments down. All right. Um, they should feel good. All of them, especially the more you do them and a little discomfort is okay, but it should never hurt. Okay. All right. So with that being said, I want you to start and follow me. I'm going to do the whole thing. I want you to take your gaze to the right, back to the center. Abby's going to bring her blanket. Take your gaze left, back to the center. You guys, my dog is crazy. Right and center. This one's hilly and she's just aging. I don't even know how old she is. Over to the right, back to the center over to the left and then back to the center. Now, lateral stretches, right ear to the right shoulder. I can't pet them or they'll stay here for the whole video. Left ear to the left shoulder, back to the center. Abigail, go sit, <laughs> back to the center. Left ear to the left shoulder, back to the center. Now I want you to give me shoulder rolls. So lift up, like you're going around in a clock, 12, three, six, and nine. One more time. Now we are going to reverse those, go in reverse, up and around. I've got a little bit of crunching going on, a little crepitus. I haven't moved a lot this morning, and the more I do this, the better it feels. Now let's put these together. Look over to the right, and then back to the center. Hopefully you can tell the difference. Over to the left, back to the center. Now drop your right ear to the shoulder, not the shoulder to the ear, the ear to the shoulder. Back to the center left ear to the shoulder, back to the center, shoulder rolls. And then you're going to reverse the shoulder rolls. I think they're up here because they're scared of the chainsaw noise. Okay. Next one. You're going to scissor your arms, open, open up the chest, round out the back and shoulders, open and then close. And I'm just alternating one arm on top of the other, open up, and then crisscross. All right, one more. And with that, we're gonna put lateral, str str lateral stretches or reaches. So reach over with your right, and then reach over with your left, all the way up and over. Now take it over to your right. I'm making it a little active if you can tell. I'm not staying here too long. But if you have already done a little workout for today and you want to do this for a little more deeper stretch, then just hold them a little longer, okay? I'm making them a little bit active. All right, now let's put those movements together. Give me scissors, so open and then cross them. Open, up the chest, round out the back and shoulders. Two more, open up and then scissor across and then open up. Notice if you can go a little further this time and then scissor. Now reach with your right up and over. Lateral reach, switch sides, lateral reach. Two more, give me right arm, lateral reach. And then the last one, lateral reach. All right, next one. So I want you to tuck your chin down into your chest and you wanna feel the stretch up the back of your neck. Come back to looking at me. Now take your gaze all the way up. If this is uncomfortable, don't do it. And then take your gaze back to me. Tuck your chin down and then back to me and then take your gaze up and then back to me. One more time, tuck the chin down and then back to me. You never want to do this move fast, which is why I'm pausing for you in the center. You don't want to jerk those neck movements. All right, here's the next one that we're going to blend with it. Cross your heart. You're going to stay there. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. Now I'm just going to fold over. I'm going to start to round over, kind of a seated crunch, and then I'm going to come up in extension. And this should feel good on the back. 
fold over, nice stretch for the back, upper back, the hips, middle and low back and the hips, sorry. All right, two more. Fold over. This should feel good. If it doesn't, don't do it. One more. Skip this one, but this should feel good. Also, as a side note, if you need some support, you can certainly round out this way. If you need some support, and you can push up through your hands if you have low back issues. All right, so let's put this together. So tuck the chin down, come back to the center. Take the gaze up, come back to the center. Do it again. Tuck the chin down, come back to the center. Take the gaze up, come back to the center. Now cross your arms, fold over forward fold get a nice stretch in your back come up slowly let's do it one more time guys fold over bless my dog's hearts they're driving me crazy that's it now the next little sequence <clears throat> i want you to take your right arm and reach all the way up to the sky now Keep the arm up by your ear if you can. I want you to bend at the elbow, okay? So now you wanna feel a little stretch up the back of your arm and your tricep. That's it. Now, I want you to lean over towards the right so you're getting a nice lateral stretch here. And again, if that does not feel good, you use support. You can have your hand here for support or you can guide how far to go, right? And then come on back up, bring your arm up and then bring it down. Now take your left arm, reach all the way up to the sky. Make sure the arm's in close, not out here. And then bend at the elbow. You wanna feel a little stretch here in the tricep. Now lean over to the right. Remember, if you wanna guide it, you can put your hand by your side. That way it gives you a little more control. And then come back up. Reach all the way up, and then hand goes back to your lap. Do it again, right arm up. Bend at the elbow, get a tricep stretch right here. Now, supported or unsupported, lean over to the left side. Lateral stretch. Again, this should all feel good. Come back up. Arm reaches up and then down to the lap. Left arm up, close to your ear. Bend at the elbow. You got the tricep stretch. So supported or unsupported, lateral stretch. You want a nice stretch on the left side with that tricep. <laughs> and now they're wrestling. I have a tree getting cut down. I have the dogs grabbing, grabbing their stuff. Now it's WrestleMania. <sighs> Got to go with the flow. Come on back up, arm up, and then down. All right, here we go. So let's get a little posterior chain here. So I'm going to turn to the sides so you can see. So I'm going to have you think about your shoulder blades wrapping around your spine. So kind of when you row, so actually we can do a row movement so you can see. So pull back, squeeze your shoulder blades. You want to feel those muscles pinch, right? And then what I want you to do is round out. You want to feel your shoulder blades separate. Row, squeeze your shoulder blades together, sit up tall, squeeze those muscles together, and then round out. You want to feel the shoulder blades separate. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Ladies, why are you doing this while I'm filming? And then round out. I hope you guys like dogs because they're in all my videos. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then round out. Let the shoulder blades separate. Good. One more time for good luck. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then round out. All right, that feels good. Okay, so moving on down the body, I want you to flex your feet and then put them back down. Lift the toes up, lady, you gotta stay right there, they can't see my feet. Lift the toes up and then back down. Now watch my feet now, I'm gonna take them out and then in and then out and then in. Make sure you've got enough space between your feet that you can do this. If you've got a large size foot, you may have to put a little space out and in. Abigail, they cannot see my feet. Out and in. Now flex and <clears throat> relax again. Lift the toes and relax. Two more. Lift and relax. One more. Lift and then relax. Now take your toes out and then in. 
out. This reminds me of doing the Charleston. Halo remove, please, in. And then out and in. Lady, my ladies are not going to cooperate. Stick your right leg out and you're going to flex your foot. Now, hands on your waist. Abigail, move, please. Hey, Abby, move, please. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so sorry. Flex your foot, hinge over. So I'm looking past my toe and then come back up. You can also take a chair opposite of you and you can put your foot up on the chair if you want and hinge forward. I'm just using the floor because that's what I got. And then hinge and then come on back up. Now, take your foot back to the center. All right, so lift your toes and then lower. Lift and lower. Two more. We're doing this again before we do the other hamstring. That's it, take your toes out and in. Out and in. So you have to lift your toes a little bit to add the rotation. Out and in and back to the center. Now straighten out your left leg. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. Now my toes are up. I'm gonna hinge forward and all that means is I'm not gonna round out. From here, I'm gonna lean forward. So I'm looking at my bulletin board across the room and then I'm not dropping my eyes. Hinge over and then come back up. You wanna feel this up the back of your thigh and your hamstrings. You'll also fill it up into the glutes, just depending on how flexible you are. One more time, hinge over, and then come back up, and then go ahead and return. All right, one more thing, and then I'm gonna let these ladies out, because they're driving me crazy. I want you to raise your knee up, so get your, your hip flexors, what you're working on, raise your leg up, and then down. And you can do this assisted, or unassisted. You can be right here if you want. And again, if you're standing, you're doing the same thing. Now, we're gonna add on. So I want you to raise it up, assist it this time on the back of the leg and draw circles. And reverse the circles. And then lower down. So raise it up, support it, circles. Draw circles with your toes, a little ankle mobility, both directions. And then down. One more time on the right, circles. Of course, they're calming down now that I'm almost done. <laughs> Why did I not put the baby gate up? And there you go. All right, we just stretched you head to toe. And like I said, if you wanna do this standing or if you'd like to work to standing, you can do all of these um, from a standing position. Um, I'm just using the chair today in case you need a chair for assistant assistance and my best piece of advice is to set a specific time on your daily schedule and keep yourself accountable and take a five minute break do this head to toe or toe to head do it in reverse and uh, tell me how you feel let me know if you feel better have a great day